Hello friends, uh, my name is Ankush. In this session we are going to discuss about the alert log file. Being working with the Oracle DBS support, we are always using this alert log file and it is uh, really uh, uh, important thing because all the alerts, all the errors that will be acknowledged to this alert log and from alert log only we will come to know what is exactly the issue even when you are raising the request with the oracle support that time we need to provide this alert log location alert log file so the same thing we are going to discuss about here when we are talking about the alert log the first thing is what is the alert log file and what is the use of this alert log file in the oracle when we are starting the database or shut down the database when log switch is happening or any kind of the activities which is happening on the oracle maybe it is error or maybe if you are adding the data files all those information will be tracked under this alert log location now from 11 jr2 if you want if you want to find out the location of the alert log file this from 11g so we need to go like this okay. let me take it in a practical way so that you can understand in a better way i'm setting my environment new db is my database name okay let me connect with uh, another i am using the duplicate session okay i am maximizing it so that you can see it in a clear way windows Okay, so this thing is there and we use system color as default. Okay. So now we do have two window. The first way I already written the first way in here. Now if my database is up and running. In that case you can use this way. Show parameter dump. okay so now here you can see there is a background dump destination and this is the location of alert log file let me open this file in a different tab okay if you are going here you will see there is one file named it as alert okay i am opening this file with last hundred lines okay so this is what happening so basically you need to find out the dumb destination file in the trace you will find one file with the name as alert with the alert underscore db name okay now this command will run only when my database is up and running and when the database is up and running then there is also another way through which you can find out the location okay if you check both the location are pointing to the same location over here right because it is fetching the value from v dollar parameter but i personally prefer this way because this is quite easy easy and you need to consider background dump destination location okay now this is all happening when our database is up and running but in case if our database is not running then this query will not run okay right then in that case what we need to do we do have the os level command as a find through which you can 
find out the location of current log file here it is giving here we need to provide the file name alert underscore database name so you in your case the database name might be changed okay and here i am getting the location of the alert log file if you check both the values are pointing to the same location fine inside the trace we need to find alert underscore database name dot log okay now if i want to show you the practical way how it is happening let's let me do some changes to the database I'm switching the log file okay here in second tab I have already opened the same database you will see the changes if I'm switching the log file okay see here see previously it was here now it is new things are coming okay let me do it again let me switch the logs you will see the changes over here see it was here now the new logs are coming to the select log file in the same manner if you are set, shutting down the database or starting the database any kind of the operation if you are working with the database all those things will be point out to the alert log file so this is the best practice to check what is exactly happening wrong with the database always open the alert log file and see if you are getting any valuable information from there okay so in this video we have mainly seen how to check the alert log file and what is alert log file if you like my video please subscribe my channel and for training purpose you can also contact me see you with the next video thank you so much bye bye